my trusty daily runner, Peugeot 405, is having some repairs. Originally, it was going to be in the SA for a head gasket repair. However, when I tested it a few months ago, uh, I put some steel seal in. I've used it on other cars before and it has worked. I've done videos of it. Um, however, this one didn't seem to work. But yesterday, when I went to do the head gasket, I thought I'll do another short video just to show the head gasket failure and it passed. So steel seal took a bit longer this time, but seems to have worked. So I thought I'll take advantage of the fact I've got it booked in on a ramp and I'll change my aircon condenser. Here's my aircon condenser. I know it's got a hole in it. Um, if I gassed it up, it hissed horrifically and um, it doesn't look too bad. It's obviously had impact from, I'm assuming, birds. Um, there are some the fins have seen better days. You can see down the bottom there. But it doesn't look too bad. Um, however, the condenser I ordered was the wrong one. So I've got a new one coming. Um, while it was out, I did notice that my radiator has also seen better days. Uh, you can see down the bottom here, lots of signs of leakage. And there's bits of orange there, which I think is um, K-Seal, which is a, it's a bit like steel seal, but it's got metal particles in it, it blocks holes in cooling systems. It seems to work, it wasn't leaking at the time. Uh, however, while it's out, fins are missing, let's just replace it, it's not a massive expense. So, the only other things I have left to do, I have a split CV boot, and uh, I'm hoping we'll be able to see this in the video, that inner suspension arm bush. Hopefully you can see that. It's got a bit of play in it. So I've got a new bush, I've got a new CV boot. Um, the only problem with this suspension design is that bracket for the suspension on is bolted down and you can't lift it up because the chassis is in the way. So the subframe's got to come out. So I'm gonna start cracking on with that and uh, I'll take you along for the ride. So the first thing I'm gonna do is undo the arm itself. I'd say it can't go anywhere until we lower the subframe anyway. So we've got a nut at the bottom here, I think is a 19 mil. Um, same here, this bolt that goes to the suspension arm, this is for the drop link. Um, then this bolt here on the front of the suspension arm, and then two bolts for this bracket. Uh, well, one nut and a, and a bolt for the bracket. That loosens the entire arm, and then, uh, and then we'll look at lowering the subframe. I'm hoping to just lower the subframe. I don't really want to take it all out, but we'll see. I can't remember. I have done, have done, I've replaced that bush before, and to save money, I didn't do that one, <laughs> which was a bit silly, but. Never mind, we're um, pulling it apart again. At least we know it should come undone. Arm is all undone. Things I forgot is that is 19. Everything else is an 18 mil. That there is a nut and bolt, and so is the rear one or the inner one for this rear bush. Now, as you can see, the bracket there is touching the chassis, and I've still got a thread sticking out. So no way of getting that out without dropping the subframe. So the subframe is a bolt there, and a bolt just up there. You can go up through the hole in the arm. Um, I'll probably undo the steering rack and then I might, rather than, I might just loosen the other side and see if I can drop this side down enough. Like I so said, it's, it's, it's probably not even half an inch, probably a quarter of an inch of clearance I need. And uh, the arm should come out. Two bolts undone. Uh, ball joint splitter tool in there and it has cleared enough that I should be able to now get the arm out. This front bush, surprisingly, being the warm one, is the one holding me up. So, have my screwdriver.
hold that thought. And we're off. So there's the bush. Weirdly, it doesn't look too bad, but actually, in fact, you can see right close up there, the actual metal collar inside has come away from the rubber. Oh yeah, that one's pushed in a bit. So uh, now I've just got to hope and pray that the new bush I bought is the right one. There we are. If you're doing this job yourself, the bush is a Febby part number 09373. There we go. So I'm going to put this in the vise and then air chisel from this way, push it out there. And then I've got two options. I can either press this into the arm with my press, if I can set it up very well, or if not, I have actually a homemade tool, which I use for doing Volkswagen and uh, mini suspension bushes, which works really well. So I might use that. New bush fitted, happy with that. That went in really well with the press actually. So uh, a couple of sacrificial sockets, jobs are good. One. Next thing I need to do then is replace my split CV boot, which is a universal stretchy boot that I fitted last year. It's not very good. Um, so I've got a proper one to go on. I think it's a proper one. Anyway, um, yeah, so easy enough to do this. Take this split pin out. And then this outer collar thing comes off as a nut inside that I think is a 36 mil. Let's have a look. If you haven't got your suspension arm off, um, the only other thing you gotta do, apart from undo this nut, is undo that lower ball joint under there, pop the arm off, and then the whole hub should swing forwards. So I take that off. I'm pretty sure that nut is a 36 mil. Ah, it says a 35. There we go. We are out. So I could take the whole drive shaft out or I could do it in situ um, I've got a tool to spread the boot so um, now this is my new boot shaft tech so these are not known for being particularly stretchy. Oh, actually this does feel this feels stretchier than normal I might try and use my stretchy tool and see if I can get that over it does it look like the right one uh, annoyingly no in a it is way too big. It's frustrating. Okay, let me see. I think I've got some other spare ones here. I might see if I've see what I can see which one of those might work. Okay, so I found I found this uh, universal boot. So you can see it's got steps coming down it, so you can cut to the right size. And the inner bit is a bit smaller. Pretty sure the inner bit will fit. It's quite stretchy. The outer one looks hopefully to be about the right size. So I've got this as a backup just in case. Um, so tools need to remove the old boot, a knife and in my case, some side cutters. So I'm gonna get the clip off first. That was there. So it is literally, I'm just gonna try and mangle the thing till it comes undone. It is easier to take the boots so there we are it's easier to take the uh, drive shafts off but it's also more time consuming <laughs> i'll say with my tool i'll show you in a moment it's not too hard to replace the boot there we go that clips off so you can use these to cut through but sometimes it's easier with a decent stanley blade 
Right, that's the boot, the old boot off. And um, the universal one actually looks like perfect size. So I think we'll go with this one. Might need to stretch the outer bit a little bit. Um, this is my spready tool. It's quite simple. Slide the boot over the end there. And then when I push the button, and then you can just shove the drive shaft straight through there. Let the pressure out. Slide the boot off, put your clips on. That simple, so. So, universal boot is on. This bit was the outer part of the boot, which I've now cut off. Don't need that. And uh, yeah, everything else is ready to go back together. So, um, drive shaft in, hub nut. The torque setting is that. Back on the ground, all assembled again. So, yeah, that's CV boot suspension bush all i've got to do now is wait for my new radiator and condenser and then i can put it back on the road again thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see more of my stuff hit the subscribe button and uh, i'll see you next time